awesome. I just think you're awesome. You're the strongest person I've ever met. Thanks. And we're gonna do a really cool helmet for you. I don't see how anybody can bully this kid. He's such a strong kid, and he has so much happiness and joy in him. That's how I got picked the right boy. I don't judge anybody off of appearance. I judge based off of character. This week, we asked you to create a black and gray, good and evil tattoo. We were testing your gradation. You worked as a team, but you will be judged individually. Sarah and Clint, what was it like working on the same exact area? I think everybody would agree that as far as a collaboration goes, this one by far is the most challenging. This guy wants us to look like one tattoo. I've seen collaborations like this. I've seen four artists work on one big back piece and it looks magnificent, but you guys didn't work well together at all. The end result just isn't, isn't too good. Sarah. The problems I have with this tattoo, we're looking for these gradations to give these tattoos dimension and life. His left forearm, the shading that's in that arm is not real shading of what a real muscle structure of a real arm would be. Actually, that was intentional. I wanted him to look more like a statue. I did use a lot of mid-tones and lighter tones, but I did use spots of selective black and then blended it out. The arm and the, and the chest plate are the same tones. If he's gonna be statuesque, there's other ways to use black. You started to make the cape darker, just commit to it. One of you impressed us, and the other three, not so much. Sarah. We've seen you do things on both sides of the fence in this competition. We've seen you do great designs with weak execution. We've seen you do terrible designs. This one is a little bit of both. There's some elements of really good design, but there's a lot of design flaws. I fought really hard to be here. Every single day, I would push myself to do one step further than the day before. And this is not a bad tattoo because we're speaking comparatively here with everything that's been done today. It came out lacking. I'm a really good artist, and I have passion, and I love what I do. And if you send me home for doing a tattoo today that I love to do, then fine. And I'll continue to fight, and I'll continue to push myself to see things differently, to grow, to expand. And if even if you don't see it here, you'll see it from me. Maybe tomorrow, maybe a month, or maybe a year from now, but you'll see it. I'm not done. Don't count me out. Wow. This week, we're testing you on all the essential skills required to be an ink master. Line, color, texture, dimension, and everything in between. Tattoo baby. How'd you feel about this? Well, when I first found out that I got the guy with the dragon, I knew that if I do this wrong, I'm gonna get my ass chewed and it could take me home. This was a big dice roll because to me, you did it in the spirit of competition. Like I'm gonna show these guys that I can do this thing and I admire that. However, today is a tough day to gamble. You're missing a lot of key elements. You have so much dragon and no arms, no legs. You got these crazy hand-like claws. They just, they don't do it. You crammed as much as you could into an incorrect anatomical figure. I think I stand pretty strong because I've shown some kick-ass tattoos. What did you tell this guy to mislead him into thinking, pick me, I'll do a good dragon? I mean, I thought that if I found a good reference, I could pull it no, no. If you sold him on the fact that I can do a dragon, then you did the wrong thing. We've gone back and forth and back and forth. This has been a really difficult decision right here. The judges have decided. Tattoo baby. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just want to say one thing, and even though I'm leaving, I'm leaving here a stronger artist because of you guys. So thank you for your judgment. Listen, this is torture. You have the artistic flair to do the things that you want to do, but where you've excelled in this competition has been places where the technical side of the tattooing has been a little less important. You keep fighting, you bump up those fundamental skills, you'll be unstoppable. Please pack your machines and close shop. I definitely did not think that I was going home. I literally, like, I went in there and I went for the goal. I feel like I fought so strong and I, I was not the last one standing. Huh. <laughs> I just love what I do so much that I felt like I owed it to my art strongly and I feel like I disappointed it. I'm 
so glad you're here because you're one of the first male tattooers that respected what I do. You know, I've always respected you. You don't have to cry. It's OK. It's all right. It's tough, you know? I just had so many people coming at me, so I'm just really tired. You're going to be OK. Let's not lose sight of what we left. You know, I left my wife and my son in Germany, and I had to stay focused always. It's just what I had to do. And you have to do the same. Despite any obstacles, we're here, and we're going to make this happen. All right, guys, so we move on to Elva. The Medusa is a killer, always. I love what I did. I got to add some of my flair. It's not my best tattoo, but I stand behind it. I also want to say for my personal mental health, I am excusing myself from the competition. Wow. You don't want to stick it out and be a fighter. I believe in what I do, what I am, who I am as a woman, as a fighter. I'm not saying I'm not weak. I'm just saying this is not for me. And there's ladies that are going to fight the fight for me, and they're going to kill it and bring it to the end. You said something that's really hit home for me, which is self-care. And if this environment is detrimental to you, I totally back you. You showed up for this thing. It takes a lot of balls, a lot of nerve. You came out here and did something that most men won't do. Rad. Thank you, guys. I don't personally think that she has the worst tattoo. I was proud of what you did. I appreciate your honesty, and we support everything you do moving forward. Nothing but respect. Well, uh, you can pack your machines and close shop. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. I definitely feel good that I'm, I made this choice. My team was coming at me from the inside, and then I also had the men's team coming at me. I just kind of was fighting this fight that was just unfightable. Definitely the women out there treat each other better because then other people will treat you better. Choices, choices, choices. Everyone was doing red, so I just wanted to set myself apart. It's again, traditional. So we're going back to the beginning. It was black, but there wasn't a big old bottle of white laying around for them to create that gray. Yeah. Hold on. I don't know why I'm freaking out. Just breathe. Sorry. It's okay. Take on the straightforward Hanya is a good take. This has a silhouette that stands strong, but that gray, it doesn't go in smooth. That part is a killer for you. I think coming into this, it was like, holy crap, like I made it. And it's like, I used to watch this with my parents, and like, oh, it just sucks. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing good. I don't know how to fix it because I'm trying my best. What you're feeling right now, I've been feeling it since the day I walked in here. I just want to make them proud, yeah. you know? You are making your parents proud, I assure you. I feel like everybody like underestimates me and doesn't think that I have it and like it makes me think that I don't and then you beat Tito's tattoo today because it was better you have done good tattoos here I just feel like I'm letting people down and I just no. don't oh, no we need to make ourselves proud of ourselves yeah we'll start over from the beginning and we're gonna make awesome tattoos yeah. that's what we're here to do yeah yep get yep. ready day one starts tomorrow Artists, your canvases have been randomly assigned. You have six hours to tattoo any subject, any style. This is your last chance to earn a shop, and your time starts now. All right. Are you open? How much of it is up to me? Ribs or something like that? No, no, no. ribs is horrible for this. This is going to be an eyeball. Yeah. In the head? And the uh, so I don't know. I don't know. My canvas won't let me do anything. A skull, maybe? I can't do a skull. There's no way. What's going on, guys? We need to get tattooing. I know. I'm nervous to get a skull. He doesn't um, like any of the ideas I have. I don't want to do a skull. Out. I don't know how I'm going to explain that to my son. If you're not willing to give her this open canvas, I'm too nervous to do what she wants to do. This mother douchebag is not going to destroy my chance at this I guess you should call somebody else in there. I don't have a canvas. I don't have a tattoo. He was stressing me out. Come here. Come on. Hey. Still, y'all, everything. Hey, 
look who it is. Oh, you're beautiful. Hey. Hi. Hi. I want to do a really hot girl with an eye in the middle, dripping color. That sounds dope. Dope as You have five hours remaining. It's gonna go down, bitches. Watch your ex. Three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. We're good. I think this is badass. I did think outside the box, but I didn't get to completely tighten it up. I am so worried. Alicia Bot. Well, Alicia Bot, I think you have a lot to offer. You have creative ideas, you have a style, but your technical application is short. I wanted to do more. I was really out of time. The color's not solid. It doesn't look strong. You wanted to show textures, solid colors, strong outlines, and you missed the mark on every bit of it. All right, that's it. The teams are full, and there are no more shops. And that means Alishaba, Raphael, Danielle, and Princess Hilla. The judges have decided you do not have what it takes to compete for the title of Ink Master. To make a spot on a team today, it's about having those few fundamentals solid and tight. The judges are crazy. Everybody wanted me here. Today, you had to tattoo the back of your canvas's neck. Men's team, let's start with you. Jason. I love this design, but the perspective you chose to show, it creates some questions. You have it leaning forward, but then you have the roses in front of it, making an impossible trick. And then the line work in the top of the coffin where it's on the back of the neck is not as nice. Once my canvas stretched his head over, it was just an uphill battle from there. Back of the neck is a hard spot to tattoo. I feel like my critique today was just, and I think that's the hard part, accepting that realization that I'm kind of at the bottom end now, where for a long time I was at the top. Growing up, I felt like I was always uh, an underdog, like all the time. I was always the, the weird kid who just sat by himself and, and drew all the time. I never played sports. I never got into anything else. And I, I'm here now to, to show that you don't have to conform. You don't have to give in to the bullies and everybody that picks on you all the time and that you can just be true to yourself. You can make yourself into something and still be a freak, you know, as they call me all the time growing up. So today I just feel like I, I let down my, my mission on being here. You didn't. We're on like mile 25, like a marathon. You know, you can see it in everyone. It's like we all just want to get there. We're so close and it sucks that three of us won't get to finish that race. Medically certified safety helmets are life-saving devices used by people who suffer from medical challenges to reduce the risk of traumatic brain injury. For this flash challenge, your canvases all have medical conditions that require them to wear protective headgear in their daily lives. Wow. And today, you will be painting one-of-a-kind designs on their helmets. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. It is, man. You'll need a solid understanding of composition to turn a practical item into a personalized piece of art that looks incredible from all angles. 360. Mm -hmm. Let's bring out your canvases. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Please tell us a little bit about yourselves. My name is Cassidy, and I have chronic Lyme disease. It has caused me to have intractable epilepsy, and I would fall to the ground out of nowhere, so it caused me to need a seizure helmet for protection. So he has a lot of purpose. This is Brennan. He's two years old. He was diagnosed with craniostenosis. He's had three surgeries so far to reconstruct his skull. That's what his helmet has protected his skull for. This is River, she's four years old. She is missing a large portion of the right side of her school. So she wears a helmet to protect her brain. Hi, I'm Jeannie, and I have autoimmune autonomic ganglionopathy, which is a rare disease and causes me to pass out without warning. And I've had several hits to the head, so I've got to protect my head. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm 16 years old. I wear my helmet because I have seizures a lot and I, I fall and I get hurt. 
I want to thank you all so much for being here. I know that the artists here are really excited to get to do something. I'm inspired by you, and I'm stoked to see what they come up with. Nathan has had over 40 surgeries throughout his 16 years. This year has been by far the roughest year for him. He experienced some bullying the very first day he got his helmet. He came running in the house and he was hysterical and I'm like, what's wrong? And he broke down and they were messing with him about his helmet and throwing stuff at him. Nobody deserves to get bullied for any reason. I felt emotional when that happens. Yes, sir. I ask the parents to teach their children about other children that's different. You don't deserve that. I just think you're awesome. The strongest person I've ever met. Appreciate it. And we're gonna do a really cool helmet for you. I don't see how anybody can bully this kid. He's such a strong kid, and he has so much happiness and joy in him. That's how I got picked the right boy. I don't judge anybody off of appearance. I judge based off of character. Hearing that he's been judged on everything but his character is bullshit. And it's something that I continually teach my children. You do not judge anybody based on anything other than who they are. I want to give him something that, even though he has to wear this helmet, he can be proud to wear it. Three, two, one. That is it, guys. No more painting. Oh. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Nathan, look at it. Oh my goodness. Because you are a warrior. I am. Yeah. And there's like a little hoop. Look at that. The top. The basketball. Yeah, on the side, yeah. Because I play basketball a like. lot. Do you like it, Nathan? Yes. <laughs> I like it. It's dope. Oh. Hi, Nathan. How do you like it? I like it so much. You got some really cool stuff going on here, man. Your warrior badge. It looks like it's like taped on, and the helmet looks like a suit of armor. You're ready for battle. You're ready to go up anything. Nothing can stop you. Gerald, I think you do a great job with this. Nathan's been through a lot with bullying and things like that, and so I wanted to let everybody know he's a warrior. Nathan, let me just tell you something. From my experience, the kids that bully you are the weak ones. Yeah. And the ones that stand up and walk through this world brave like you do, you are the warrior. Thank you. I'm super proud of you. Wow. Bye, guys. It's a tough kid. You guys really rose to the occasion today. There are no losers today. Make sure that when you get into the face, you're getting some nice soft fades. I think I'm so fixated on the actual pieces that make this face up, I'm losing the idea of the face. I'm just like turning into a ball of stress. What is it? It's a woman's face made of flowers. Being here is so important to me because I lost one of my sisters a couple years ago and I inherited her child. She's in her third year of college. Like, I pay for her college. I'm going to win because I feel like it's gonna give me a better chance to provide for my family. Today, you had to push the limits and tattoo objects composed out of anything but what they're actually made of. Oba. This one, for me, it's just dark. The nose and the way the eyes are, she's very scary looking. I'm just struggling with it in terms of it being compositionally a beautiful woman. To me, it, it reads like someone who got their skin ripped off. I'm having a hard time being here. This is hard, man. It is hard. It's hard because I'm not your typical tattoo guy. Going from being younger and being gay and being picked on for it, it took me a while to not just be mad all the time. Here, I know you've been fighting your whole life. Stay here and fight. You have an opportunity to inspire a lot of people that there is a place in this industry for them, too, in an industry that never would have let you in 20 years ago. Think yeah. about that, man. I like trying to be a good example for my kid, too. Like, I never want her to think that she can give up on something. Then don't.